Hey, Wilson, come over here, man. I want to show you something real quick. I got my setup going, man. And you know what? I think I'm going to tell you and the people why I think now the Galaxy Tab S9 is actually, it's not better than, but I actually find it a little bit more useful than the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. You see right here, I'm actually using all three of them at the, at the current time. You see there that thumbnail you was working on? Why you make my head so big, dude? You you and all your shenanigans is making my head all extra large. Is my head really that big, bro? Come on now. Anyways, I got these three, well, two tablets and a laptop here. These are all Galaxy products. We got the Galaxy Tab S9, Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, and Galaxy Book 360 Pro. I think that's what it's called. Anyhow, I got some work going on in the middle here. I'll go ahead and minimize that so you can see my desktop. I can slide my mouse over here using multi-control onto the Tab S8 Ultra, and I'm actually using this keyboard now over here. So I can use this keyboard and get into any app I want to, right? You know, it's all working together because it's uh, one UI. And then I can slide way across over here to my Tab S8, and you know, this is, man, I love using my Tab S8 because that's pretty much what this video is gonna be about is how much more useful the Tab S8 is than the Tab S8 Ultra or even S9 Ultra for that matter. Let's close up this and we'll do this. All right, so my main purpose, and this is the thing, Wilson, you gotta figure out what you're gonna be getting a tablet for. Okay, so some people say the Tab S8 Ultra and Tab S9 Ultra is a laptop replacement, which in a lot of cases, it, it could be true. Yeah, the Tab S8 Ultra is a very useful tablet. It's got a lot of utility to it, but it's also a massive tablet. Look at this, man. It's a 14 inch tablet and this is a 15 inch laptop. Look at that. It's as big as the laptop. And that in a lot of ways is why it could be a laptop replacement because if you pair it with this keyboard cover case, you just snap it on like that, then you can relax the back. And now you have what looks like kind of a laptop, almost like a Windows Surface device, right? But man, can it really replace a laptop? I don't know. In a lot of cases, yes. In a lot of cases, no, because it, you know it's just computing. It's just what it is. But at the same time, it is a tablet. So when it comes to doing tablety type things like holding it with one hand, you get this thing open. When it comes to doing things like holding it with one hand, you know, taking notes, it does come with the S Pen and stuff. You know, you start writing on here, right? It's just got this, it's like right on a legal pad. Look how long that is, right? I mean, yes, you can do it, but it seems a bit cumbersome because the tablet is so big and that's just taking notes on it. When it comes time to just relax, maybe, you know, watch some YouTube videos or something like that. You know, let me pull up my YouTube real quick. Let me pull up my favorite YouTuber. Who's that gonna be? All right, I was watching some Deion Sanders stuff earlier. But you know, when you're watching YouTube, if you're using this almost as a monitor or a TV, fine. But if you just hold it in your hand or sitting with it on your lap, this gets a little big. And that's where the Tab S9 comes in. I have my little keyboard, my smart, not it's not a keyboard, my smart cover here. So I can stand it up in portrait mode if I want to, or I can do it in landscape. And then I can just fold this thing down, flip it back if I want to, and then you can get into your tablet just like that. I opted not to get the keyboard because let's be honest, man, this thing is kind of small. The keyboard could be a little cramped. It is very useful when you have one. Sometimes I wish I would have bought it, but it is what it is. I mainly use this as a glorified notebook and it's also my planner and it's also my media device. So when I'm chilling in the bed, relaxing or whatever, or in a chair, I can just hold it one handed, just like this. I'm just holding it, right? Or if I need to take some notes, I just pop open that Samsung notes and I'm going at it and it's easy to use one handed. It's also great as a secondary monitor, as you just saw. And I had it in portrait mode, but you could also do it as a secondary monitor in la uh, landscape mode. Same with the Ultra, it's just not as big, so it doesn't take up as much space. And let's not even start talking about the weight uh, differences between the two. So for me, personally, because of how I use this tablet, and this is good, what's going to determine it for you. How do you plan on using your tablet? For me, it turns out that the Tab S9 is a better tablet as far as being useful in my personal life. I wonder how many of you out there have figured out that you didn't need an Ultra device. You know, Ultra just sounds like, oh, I want the good one, right? It's the one with the best camera. It's the biggest screen. It has this processor in it. Well, the good thing about the Tab 9 series or S9 series is that they put a lot of the same specs across all three tablets via screen, 
fingerprint uh, scanner, some of the cameras, all kinds of stuff. It's all in all three of them. So you're not really missing out when you say you wanna get the regular t uh, Galaxy Tab S9. But when you're comparing it to something like the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra or the Tab S9 Ultra, this size, is, is it still a tablet at this size, really? I'm not so sure. I think this is more of a portable monitor or a laptop replacement. But in this case, man, the way I use this thing with, with all its purposes and everything, like for, for, God, I use this thing so much, almost as much as I use my phone. I really don't use it for like social media apps because when you're typing and stuff on a screen this big, that gets a little ridiculous. But for writing and doing all the other stuff that I do on my phone, it's much easier to do it here. And even with a foldable device, this, this kills a foldable device. But um, this one just turned out to replace my laptop replacement. Does that make sense? <laughs> the Galaxy Tab S9 ended up replacing my laptop replacement, which was my Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. And the crazy thing is that a lot of times, especially on trips, I've wanted to take the Tab S8 Ultra as my like solo device to do everything with as far as computing, but it just wouldn't work out because I can't really edit on this thing. Um, I use Premiere Pro, so I have to bring a laptop. So if I'm bringing a laptop, yes, sometimes I would wanna bring a tablet with me because you know I wanna tap like a bigger screen. And if I was gonna bring the tablet by itself, we're talking about this weight again. And this thing is really hard to use without this back cover. Yes, it's much lighter, but now you just, you know, ugh. even with the back cover on it, you still got a great hand sized tablet that you can manipulate and get all your stuff done with. And it packs up nice and easy with your laptop. That way it is a laptop companion, not a laptop replacement. And that's why I like it so much over the ultra versions of the tablets. It's just me. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I get a lot done with this combo right here and this Galaxy Tab S9 and 2023 has been killing it for me. Ah, oh, man, the only thing that makes me mad is that I didn't go for the uh, smaller tablet in the first place. Either way, I'll see you later, Wilson. You gotta get out of here, man. You've been hanging around here way too long, man. I'm gonna start charging your butt rent. Whoa, 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 before you go, man, I forgot to tell you, me and my man Digital Slang decided to start up a new YouTube channel. It's where we hang out and debate different tech topics, and I'm usually right, he's always wrong. Either way, you should come hang out with us. So I'll see y'all over there.